And finally, new rule, when someday soon an actual brawl breaks out on the floor of Congress, don't say I didn't tell you it was coming. And oh yes, it's coming. The kind of thing that we have seen many times from all over the world. I cannot get enough of that shit. I really can't. That, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Honestly, it could be its own show. Parliament fights. <laughs> and uh, here's how it starts. The reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegally. Ah! And then it becomes a thing. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> the opioid epidemic. Give you a copy. You know, watching the State of the Union address this month, it was hard not to come to the conclusion that the State of the Union will never just be a monologue again, at least when a Democrat is president. Why is this chick so hyperactive? <laughs> she looks like Cocaine Bear. I mean... <laughs> if she actually were four years old and acted out this much, they'd arrest her stepfather. <laughs> Honey, sit down. This is Congress, not the Waffle House at three in the morning. It's okay to be crazy. Just stop being so fucking needy. <laughs> and as far as democracy goes, this stuff is the canary in the coal mine. Do you really think one day a gun nut like Lauren Boebert isn't gonna walk onto the House floor and say, I'm here to kick ass and take names. But since I'm illiterate, I'm just gonna be kicking ass. <laughs> when Americans see bad things happen overseas, we always think, well, it'll never happen here. We thought that about terrorism and mask wearing and being one of those countries where people shit in the street. And when we saw brawling in the very places where people are supposed to come together to work out their differences politely, we said, ha ha, foreigners are funny. Countries where democracy is barely a thing and the men have too much hair on their knuckles. <laughs> that will never be us. Oh, it be us. It be us real soon. A new study examined 365 incidents of physical fights in parliaments across the globe between 1990 and 2018 and discovered the key to where the fighting takes place. Here's who doesn't have parliament fights. Countries with authoritarian rulers because they just wouldn't allow it and also because they're too busy clapping. <laughs> and the other kind of country that doesn't throw punches, real democracies like we used to be. The places where fights break out are the countries that aren't sure which one they are. And that's where we're heading. Now, maybe in the past, I would have said we need to find a way to love and respect each other again. But honestly, I think that bus has sailed. Which is why tonight, I'd like to suggest that our political leaders learn a lesson from the people who work in one of America's most successful industries, this one, show business and understand something very fundamental. You can get great things done and still hit each other's fucking guts. <laughs> it would be easier to name great movies where the principals didn't hate each other. The editor of Mad Max, Fury Road, said Charlize Theron and Tom Harney didn't want to touch each other, they didn't want to look at each other, they wouldn't face each other if the camera wasn't actively rolling. But the movie works. Director Roman Polanski hated his leading lady, Faye Dunaway, so much he refused to give her a bathroom break, so she pissed in a cup and threw it in his face. <laughs> the movie they made together? Chinatown which ironically is about hoarding water. <laughs> a 
At the end of an officer and a gentleman, Richard Gere whisks Deborah Winger away, but when the camera stopped, he couldn't wait to drop her. <laughs> and on terms of endearment, Winger hated Shirley MacLaine so much, she farted in her face. <laughs> but the movie didn't stink. Eddie Murphy and John Landis stuck it out on Coming to America, but when it was over, Eddie said that Vic Morrow, who had been decapitated in a stunt gone wrong on a previous Landis movie, had a better chance of working with Landis again than I do. <laughs> Actors have many times hated each other so much they refused to be on the set together at the same time, even in a scene they were both in. America loves Bill Murray, but you know who doesn't? Everyone who's ever worked with him. <laughs> well, everyone who's ever worked with Ted Cruz hates him. <laughs> Why can't it work in government? Because I am telling you, the list of people who sucked it up and said, I know we hate each other, but we got a movie to make, is long and impressive. Oh, and it's not just movies. Your favorite TV stars, they hate each other, too. <laughs> these two did, and so did these two. On Star Trek, Captain Kirk feuded constantly with Mr. Spock, and he's still feuding with Mr. Sulu. <laughs> and it's no secret there was no love lost between these two ladies, and yet they found a way to work together on a show about how men are always the problem. <laughs> Governments. Government learn, needs to learn to do the same thing. Yes, here in terrible, horrible, immoral show business, we hate each other, and yet we still do our jobs, turning your children communist and gay. <laughs>